This video is going to be very short. Our intention here is to simply puncture the doubts over the mixer feature that's built into math, because most people understand the envelope generation and slew capabilities that are on the sides fairly well. The mixer consists of four inputs. These are the attenuators for those inputs. There are four outputs, and there's a sum, and then there are these two LEDs that are there to reflect what's happening at the sum. Input 1 simply corresponds to whatever this slew is doing. Input 4 corresponds to whatever this slew is doing. Inputs 2 and 3 correspond to these two jacks. So, if I start this envelope going, we can see it generating, this is a, a 0 to plus 5 volt repeating envelope. Now, at the moment, we don't see any activity with these LEDs. That's because the attenuverter is set to noon, or zero, for input number one. So if we turn this clockwise towards plus, we now see at sum there's a positive signal represented by this blinking LED that perfectly matches the unity output of this envelope over here. If we take this pot all the way around the other direction, we've now, we're now sending out an inverted version of this envelope. So we're going from 0 to minus 5 volts, but it's otherwise the same envelope. I will now take input 1 out of the picture. Input 4, which is, corresponds to this slew here, is exactly the same deal. If I bring the input 4's attenuverter clockwise, we'll be sending out this uh, envelope, just as we are from the unity, it'll be coming out of sum. Or I can attenuate it. You can see here it's a little bit dimmer. Or I can invert it. And that's input 4. Let's talk about inputs 2 and 3. They're a little bit different. Yes, they take signals, and we'll be taking in a signal in a moment, but they also, if nothing is patched to them, they generate an offset voltage. So, this number two will generate an offset voltage of plus or minus 10 volts, which is quite a range. So if I turn this pot here to the right, you'll see this LED lights up. That's because I'm now sending out, uh, in this case, roughly positive six volts. I turn it all the way down, now we're sending out positive 10 volts. If I turn it counterclockwise, we can send out up to negative 10 volts. Input 3 is a little different. Actually, it's exactly the same, except that its range is different. So if I turn up number 3 with nothing plugged in here, it's putting out plus 5 volts, not plus 10 volts, plus 5 volts. Or if I attenuate that less than that, or I can send out an inverted signal of up to minus 5 volts contributed from uh, input 3, again, with nothing plugged in here. As soon as I plug something in, like this dummy cable, I can adjust the attenuverter all I want, nothing's going to happen, because it's a, it's, no, it's a normal connection. Now up here we have an LFO. This LFO is going to put out a plus 5 to minus 5 volt uh, signal. So it's always going to put that out. I'm going to take the sign here and I'm going to run it into input 2. So by doing this, if I turn up the attenuverter, we now see that I'm passing this LFO through to sum. And you'll see, because I turned this clockwise, it's positive we're going to see the positive lamp lighting up in sync with the LED on the LFO. I can, of course, invert it by turning this attenuverter in the opposite direction, and now the negative LED is going to be in sync with the LED on the LFO. And, of course, I can attenuate it. So now I've got this this LFO attenuated, and you'll see the LEDs are not quite as bright, so instead of it being plus 5, minus 5 volts, which is a huge swing, I can bring down the amplitude to something a little bit more manageable, and then I can take the output to modulate another module 
uh, with that more subtle LFO signal. However, because channel 3 is going to generate a, a voltage, if I don't have anything plugged in here, I can use channel 3 to offset this LFO. Right now, the LFO you'll see is pretty much going back and forth equally between positive and negative across zero. But if I add some voltage here with number three, you'll see only the, the positive LED on this side is the one that's blinking. That's because I've taken this attenuated LFO and I've translated it up above zero volts. So now it's oscillating completely in the positive volt domain. Likewise, if I take this and I put, apply a negative voltage to this signal that's accumulated here at some, I'm now oscillating, at ten, I've got this, this, uh, this LFO uh, oscillating in the negative voltage range in an attenuated manner through this attenuverter right here. And because this is a mixer, you can bring in other elements as well. So if I bring in this envelope generator, I can say, uh, bring up this attenuverter for uh, channel 4, which corresponds to this slew, and now we'll see something more complex is happening here with the signal. We're mixing together this attenuated and also uh, offset LFO with this envelope that's being generated by the slew generator. Hopefully that demystifies what's going on in this mixer.